This case is very similar to the 4-0 case that we just covered last episode, in that there's only one way to set up TEO, and it's doing M prime U2 M to get a good error or arrow, and then or doing M U2 M prime. With this first set of cases, we have both our left and right edges misoriented. Here we have them both in the top layer, here they're both in the bottom layer, and here we have one in each layer. So in this first case, they're both in the top layer, and we actually want them in the bottom layer. So we're going to bring them to the bottom layer by doing by placing them in the M slice. You could do a U or a U prime. And then M2 to get them in the bottom. And then we're going to set up so that these edges are on the left and right, even though they aren't the left and right edges. And that actually puts us a M2 away from this 4-0 case, which, if you don't recall, we just did an M prime for misoriented centers to solve EO. So basically from here, that would just be the equivalent of doing an M. But as I said, you can also do an M prime here. Um, and that will give you EO. Next case. So here, they're already on the bottom, and it's basically the same thing that we just set up to last time. You can either do an M prime or an M, whichever you prefer. Uh, and then you're good. And here we have them in both layers, and this is uh, not a good case. We have one here and one here. Um, basically, what you do for this case is you set up to a mediocre arrow. So we're going to bring this uh, bad LR edge into the top layer to become the tip of the arrow doing an M, U2, M prime, like so. And then we have a mediocre arrow, and we can solve from there. And we're good. In this group, we have one edge, LR edge misoriented, and another one oriented. I call this group half and half. So here, we have them both in the top layer. With the other case, they'll be in both layers. So with this one, we can swap either of the bottom two layer, bottom layer bad edges into the top layer to create a good arrow. I prefer my good edge in the bottom layer for my good arrow, so I'm going to be swapping the back two. But know that you can also swap the front two. With the next case, we didn't get so lucky. They're in two different layers, and so this case is a, lot, is a little bit longer uh, as far as move count goes. Here, we have them in two different layers, and one's oriented and one's not. We're just going to do an M2 and set up into this 4-0 case that we learned last time. Uh, the way we set up into a good arrow here is we swap one of the good layer edges into the top layer. But we have to make sure that this misoriented LR edge is on the side of the cube. Since I prefer an oriented LR edge in the bottom, I'm going to be swapping the front two. In this final group of the 202 EOLR set, both of our LR edges are good. And so you may notice that this is an M2 away from the 4-0, both LR edges are good uh, case, which we solved with an M prime, U prime, and continued. Since we're an M2 away, and that starts with an M prime, we can cancel that into an M. And the best way to remember this case is that all the U moves are in the same direction, so you only have to memorize the direction of the M slices. With the 4-0, we went two in one direction, two in the other, but in this case, we cancel one of them, so it goes in the opposite direction. So it will be M, M prime, M, M. And then you have a good arrow here. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay tuned for my next EOLR video on the 2A2 case. Also, if you think I missed anything, be sure to tell me about it in the comments below. And if this helped you, like the video so that more people can see it.